Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the experimental bins. And yes, I do know I forgot to post an update last week. I've got a lot working right now and it just slipped through the cracks. So bear with me while I try to catch up on all of my update videos. But check out all of these sprouts from those bell peppers. I mean, they're developing good roots. I really am going to stick a few of these today into um, some pots and see if they will grow. The worms seem to be hanging out in the, the roots here. They look really healthy. I'm just shocked at how tall these Sprouts have even gotten in here. Let's see how long this one is. I mean, that's a really healthy root base starting there. Um, that's like really, really impressive to me. It tells you how strong these worm castings are that they can grow so many of these sprouts. I mean, I feel like every one of those seeds must have sprouted in here. But because of all of the new projects I have on the horizon. I'm thinking about finishing these bins up. Um, so for right now, I'm going to leave this be, and I'm going to pull a few of these out so I can plant them. And this is the side we fed two weeks ago. Got some big worms climbing throughout here. So, they've definitely worked through all of that little salad they had going on in here. And this is the blended scraps. I think I mentioned that, but um, yeah, I mean, they've worked through everything and it just looks amazing. So I think I'm going to just add some coffee grounds to the bins today and kind of let them finish maturing without adding a whole lot more food. So I'm just gonna add a handful of coffee grounds here. Maybe a little bit more than that. These bins have a good amount of worms now, so it can definitely handle it. And these are coffee grounds that I leave on my counter in um, an old coffee tin and I um, let them start to mold a little bit because coffee grounds themselves are pretty sterile. Um, and now I'm just going to top it with a little bit of eggshell. And then we will just leave these bins be for a few weeks and see what happens. We'll probably just do a quick peek in each week, but nothing substantial. So... That should be plenty of moisture too. This bin feels fine um, moisture wise. So just gonna leave this be. We'll come back and see what it looks like um, either next week or the week after. And let's hop over and take a peek at the whole scraps. Okay, so here I am with the whole scrap bin. And again, we have some sprouts, although interestingly not quite as many as in the other bin. And you can actually see some of the sprout, um, seeds that have not sprouted. I find that fascinating as well. I'm kind of happy that I did put those in here because it's just another factor that I will consider in the future when I add scraps to my bins. As a matter of fact, some of these skins here have still not broken down. But the worms look healthy. The castings are getting dark. And then this is the side we fed last week. Or, I'm sorry, two weeks ago. Again, with that, like, spinach and those carrots. And these bins are plenty, plenty moist. Comment below, let me know what you think about the word moist. I know some people have a big 
aversion to that word, but I feel like it's kind of an important word when you're describing the conditions inside a worm bin. The word has never bothered me, but I do find it funny that some people just can't handle it. But these worms, I mean, they're really, really good size. They're all throughout the bin. And again, I think this is at a good point where we will be able to just let it mature. So do the same thing over here. I'm add up a good two handfuls of coffee grounds that have already started to get a little mold on them. And add a nice healthy sprinkling of my eggshells. And we'll come back in a week or two and um, finish up this little mini series I did. So um, please like this video, subscribe if you want some more content from me, um, drop any of your comments below. And I will be back with you guys in a week or two for another update. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.